What's up guys, this is Burt Music, and today I'm going to be using the weirdest guns on every single Call of Duty game. The way this is going to work is that I'm going to start with Call of Duty 2 and work my way all the way up until Black Ops 4. So I think we're going to be playing a total of 52 games today. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but we're going to be playing a lot of COD. Right now I'm on the green screen setup and I'm going to change the size of my face cam depending on how much I like the Call of Duty game. But I think once I get to Black Ops 3 I have to switch over to my PlayStation setup, so it'll be more of the OG face cam. So with that being said, let's launch Call of Duty 2, let's do this. 2005, dude, that's crazy. That was like 40 years ago. Multiplayer. I forgot how loud COD 2 is. I'm going to get drowned out by the game audio but it's okay. So what I'm gonna be doing for this video is that I'm gonna play each of these Call of Duty games for one minute and I have to try to get as many kills as possible with the weirdest gun on each game. When the timer stops you're gonna hear this. I hate myself for that, but oh, a oh, quick match. There's enough people to play COD 2. This is crazy. Oh, I actually really like this map. Okay. For Call of Duty 2, this is kind of tricky because there's not as many weapons, and every single class is just pre done. So we have the MP40, the Car 98K, the Gewehr, the Scope Car, the Trench Gun, and the MP44. There's really not too many weird guns on this game. So I think I'm just gonna go with the Trench Gun. Three, two, one, go! Alright, I clicked the timer. We've got a minute to play COD 2. I forgot you can't even sprint. This is this is weird. It's also extremely loud, so I'm gonna have to talk extra loud. Um and yeah. Just try to find someone and blast them with a trench gun. Really not any weird guns on COD 2 to be fair, because it's a World War II COD game. So, nothing quite as nifty or unique as Infinite Warfare. But that's okay. Call of Duty 2 is a great game. I really enjoyed the campaign for it. Here's some ah! are, are you kidding me? He's using the trench gun? Maybe it's not that weird. I got 25 seconds. I, I don't have time to watch a kill cam. I gotta get kills. Otherwise, this kill counter is gonna stay at zero. Be pretty. Okay. Th this is not going well for Call of Duty. <laughs> oh man, if only I could have like a super awesome ray gun laser weapon. Uh, I think this guy waiting in here. Not a lot of time. Five seconds. I'm safe. Oh, dude, just come over here. Let me blast you. There we go. Got one kill. All right, well, I'm leaving COD 2 now. Time for Call of Duty 3. Just like that, it goes by so fast. All right, here we are, Call of Duty 3. This is probably gonna be a pretty similar experience to what just happened on Call of Duty 2. I'm basically just gonna quick match. There's gonna be preset classes. But if I'm not mistaken, Call of Duty 3 does have some weirder weapons, or at least there's some weirder, like, how do I describe it? Call of Duty 3 has some pretty interesting mechanics that they added to the multiplayer. I'm not gonna play the Fortnite dance song. I'm gonna get annoyed by that. We're going back to the alarm. Yeah, okay, we got Poisson. I guess I'm just gonna have to auto-select. I look so ugly right now. I should also just mention that these are the weapons that I think are weird. I know you guys might not necessarily, like, completely agree that I'm picking the weirdest all-time weapons. But for Call of Duty 3, I'm gonna go with the MG34 because when you use an LMG, you're forced to lay down, which is pretty weird. And we're starting the timer now. Let's go. Oh. I forgot. Oh, you can't sprint in this either. I completely forgot. When I go to sprint, I actually just lay down. That's weird. But yeah, when you go to shoot this thing, it's gonna automatically, like, force you to drop shot, you know, when you, like, lay down. Oh. Okay. Got blown up by a tank. That's not good. Also, um, am I am I in capture the flag? Uh, I'm in capture the flag. That's what happens for quick matching. Oh well. I mean, it's Call of Duty Three. It's not that big of a deal. We're gonna get to some other Call of Duty games very soon here, and they're gonna have much weirder guns. I mean, I just wanted to point this out though. If you want to aim your LMG in Call of Duty Three, you got a prone. It's the only way to do it. Also, that explosion, <laughs> nice quality. Also, we got a dead cow over there. Moo. Anyone? Any enemies? I think there's only three people. And he's literally just spawn trapping with a tank. Good job, buddy. You, you ruined this pretty much. I'm not gonna get any kills. This, uh, I like Call of Duty 3. It's a goofy game. The vehicles are hilarious, but yeah, no kills, just utter failure. So that, my friends, is gonna take us to Call of Duty 4. Good old Call of Duty 4, here we go. So now we actually have creative class, so I can try to pick a really weird weapon. I have a Scorpion ACOG, which by default is pretty weird, but I don't know if it's gonna take the cake. I'm just kind of looking at the weapons here. I'm gonna try to see if there is anything weirder. I don't know. I think Scorpion ACOG might be one of the weirdest things. And look at this class, it's just so utterly terrible. I'm gonna go with that. Wow, there's still 3,000 people playing COD 4, that's awesome. Okay, we got TDM on ambush. All right, here we go. We're using the subscribe class, clicking start, and we're going. Gotta try to get as many kills as I can with the Scorpion ACOG. I was gonna say, I also look. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I can't switch to my pistol. I gotta use just the Scorpion ACOG. Otherwise, that would not be good. You got Juggernaut? Where'd my aim go? Oh my goodness. No, no. This is so difficult. I mean, uh, Scorpion ACOG, totally OP. It's just so great, guys. I'm gonna blow up that car and kill him. Oh! That's what it's good for. It's good for shooting the cars and blowing people up, not actually killing them. Oh, yep. Come on, local KFC joints. Are you kidding me? I'm getting killed by my own KFC. <laughs> Don't do me like this. And, okay, local KFC shop? Wait. You got the, the joint and the shop in the same lobby. What is going on? 
How do they coordinate this? Um, I'm worried. Hopefully this isn't a hack lobby. That might still happen on COD 4. I don't know. Oh my. Wow. Uh, I don't think I actually got any kills with the gun. And there you go. This is a struggle. This is hard. I was not expecting this kind of challenge, but here we go. World of War. I was going to say, I love doing these types of videos because it allows me to go back on every single old Call of Duty game, see how the games are doing. Even if it is just for a brief minute, it gives you a taste. It gives you a nice little sampling of each game. World of War only has 750 players. Dang, dude. That is brutal. Out of all my boost classes, I need to make one. That's going to be weird. We're back to a World War II COD, which doesn't really have too many weird guns. I'm trying to find some. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna do the DP-28. So yeah, this is gonna be the class we're using. There's only 50 people in the world playing TDM. That's brutal for World of War. I found a game faster on COD too. That's, wow. Yes, we got TDM on Courtyard. I love this map. One of the smaller maps. This should be good. Busting out the DP-28. Here we go. Click the start button and we're going. So this is why it's so weird. It's mostly because, well, it's a giant like drum disc gun. It just looks weird. Oh, no. Oh, okay. There we go. Two kills. I think that's the record so far. There we go. Wait, oh. Okay. I probably didn't need to reload either. This thing has a lot of ammo. I think it's around 70 rounds? Uh, and the only attachment you can get is a, a bipu. Oh, got a doggy. Get away from me. See how they handle this? Who screamed that? That's disgusting. Also, my aim is so poo! God, this thing is hard to use. I should use the bipod attachment, but I don't know if I have a good chance to actually do that. It looks like there's a bunch of noobs actually playing, which is great. Oh. Well, they have dogs. Get away from me. Come on. Need kills. This dude just kind of camping in a corner. I, I've got a lot of kills, though, right now. I got three. It's not too bad. They got stupid dogs, though. I hate the dogs. Let's get four. Come on. Come on. Who aim over there? Mm. The dog was, like, chewing on me, moving my aim, and we're out of time. But I got four kills. That's actually pretty good. That was stressful. Why'd I have to join a game with dogs, dude? This <laughs> is so unlucky. But, yeah, next up is Modern Warfare 2. Oh, my. This, this is fun. Wait. Oh, what the? Oh, Xbox, you can't. You gotta be joking me. You cannot just be down. Psh Okay, we're on Modern Warfare 2. Now I have to try to find the weirdest gun on here. <laughs> okay, well, why do I pretty much always have a weird class on every single Call of Duty game? I'm kind of torn. I feel like the F2000 would be pretty good. I'm not too sure about some of these other guns. I mean, the WA-2000, I mean, it's kind of weird. Then you have the Riot Shield, which was the first of its kind at the time. But is it weird, though? That's the question. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go Riot Shield. The Riot Shield was the first of its kind for Modern Warfare 2. It probably is the weirdest thing in the game. Why is it so hard to find a game on Modern Warfare 2? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I got disconnected from Xbox just trying to find a game? Ay ay ay. Come on, Modern Warfare 2. I feel like I'm gonna have to give up on Modern Warfare 2. My game is frozen again. I, th I think I'm just gonna have to pass on Modern Warfare 2. It's just not working right now. I apologize, I had to skip Modern Warfare 2 because it was just taking too long. I couldn't find any games. So we're moving on to Black Ops 1. Alright, now I have to find the weirdest gun on Black Ops 1. The G11's kinda weird. The HS10 is also kinda weird. I think I'm gonna go with the HS10 Akimbo and Crossbow. Let's find a TDM. Oh, we got Nuketown. Okay. Oh, this will be perfect for the shotguns. Alright, we got our class and we're starting right now. Oh, there's someone in second chance. I'm not picking you up. So yeah, um, the weapons for Black Ops 1, they're not really all that weird, I guess, but you gotta do the best that you can with what you have, and I don't know, I mean, was it, this is the first crossbow in a Call of Duty, so I mean, I guess it warrants trying to use the crossbow, although I just missed both my shots there. We're on Newtown, so if I can get close to some people and blast them with a shotgun, or they could just be in a corner camping with the Vamas, love it! Man, just, that's my memory of Black Ops 1 right there, for sure. That's pretty much all I would play against on a regular basis. Maybe I can find someone and kill him. I don't know. Looks like we already switched sides. This is... Ooh. Not good. Not good. But yeah, the, the guns on Black Ops 1 are really not all that weird. Looks like I stuck someone, though. Haha! <laughs> I blew him up. And maybe I can pre-fire that and get someone. I don't know. There's our Akimbo Brechies. Put in some work. There we go. There we go. Two seconds. Can I find someone? standing by. Nope. There's a ghost guy. Ah... Uh, can I get him? Can I still get him? I got him. Shut up, phone. Shut up! Alright, there we go. Um, and... Alright, well, I got blown up by a mortar. That's gonna be it for Black Ops 1. Now we're moving on to Modern Warfare 3. And I need the disc. It's so weird, like, for some of these games you need the discs, and for others you don't. Like, you don't need the disc for Black Ops 1. Alright, here we go. I wonder how many people are on Modern Warfare 3 right now. It should be interesting considering that Black Ops 1 says that it has over half a million people still playing. Yet we can't even find a game on Modern Warfare 2. Oh, I got the XM25, that's kinda weird. You have the Airburst Grenade Launcher. I think I'll do that in the Riot Shield. <laughs> Not a bad combo. Actually, it's a horrible combo, but we're gonna use it. There's still 293,000 people playing? What? 41,000? people in TDM. We'll have to wait and see. Why are there so many people on Modern Warfare 3? This is madness. I'm flabbergasted right now. Alright, here we go. TDM on mission. This is gonna be an interesting one. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't click the timer. Okay, well, there we go. I'm so sorry about that. I, I started the timer late. Oh, I got someone. Well, I actually killed him by blowing up his C4, but not bad. Um, there's more people camping here, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Okay, I'm at... 
Well, I guess that's really just the first kill because I wasn't recording, but okay, here we go. We're 40 seconds. Not too shabby. Can I get this guy? Nope. Is there someone over here? This is really difficult. Such a weird weapon. And it's honestly pretty humiliating to die from it, but... Uh, level 5? What was this guy? Wait. Was I killed by... I was killed by someone else, wasn't I? What? What is he doing? I don't know what he was looking at. That was very odd. But yeah. Try to get that throwing knife over there. Come on. Oh, we got a UAV. Okay, that's good. Hopefully I can actually get close to someone. I'm so slow with this thing. It's just... It's painfully slow. I'm trying to move, though. Get closer and get some kills here. We only have three seconds. I gotta try to fire off some shots. The timer went off, but I still want to try to get some kills with that. I just want to blow someone up. Let's just let's just no scope him. I hit him. Die! Well, okay. I think I've ruined this lobby enough. Now we're going to Black Ops 2. And I'm probably gonna need the disc, yep. Alright, just gotta try to find the weirdest gun on Black Ops 2. I think I'm gonna go with the KSG. I think this is the first time that a Call of Duty game attempted a slug shotgun. I think I'm also gonna go with the Executioner. It's like the shotgun pistol. Yep, that's gonna be my class. There's actually not that many people playing Black Ops 2 right now. There's only about three to 4,000 people playing. And yet, we found a game pretty much instantly. What are we gonna be playing? Standoff TDM? Here's our class we are starting right now. We're gonna use the KSG and the Executioners. This should be pretty interesting. So, the catch with the KSG is you pretty much have to aim it for your shot to go straight and actually kill someone. And... I wonder if I can get these people. Is my conne my connection's okay? Hmm. Okay. I just suck then. <laughs> All right, I got, already got 40 seconds. I see an RCXD going for this person, but didn't get him. There we go. There's a kill. Keep it going. Nope. It is actually really hard to use the KSG. Like, it's one of those guns you actually have to just use a lot and get really familiar with before you start popping off with it. But you can definitely do some really good stuff with the KSG. I know I have in the past, but man, it is difficult to just hop back on blops too and just try to blop everyone. And a lot of them are using pistols, I think. It's really weird. We got 15 seconds left. Maybe I'll try to use the executioners real quick and get a kill. Yes, there we go. Got a headshot. Come on, let's keep it going. Keep going. Get some more kills. It's level one. I'm not losing to a level. C4. <laughs> Well, that, that, that was pretty much gonna be it right there. Well, how many kills was that? Five kills? I think that's our best so far. You know how I said at the start of the video my face cam would change size, depending on how much I like a Call of Duty game or not? Well, guys, here we are. We're gonna be playing some Call of Duty Ghosts. It needs an update. A two gig update? What? Where is this coming from? Guys, look. I found a cat, Ash. Say hi. <laughs> hey, Ash. You wanna go to space? Here we are. Do you like space? I think he wants to bite me. All right, I'm putting you back. Cause Ghost is ready. All right, time for some Call of Duty Ghosts. Just gotta get the face cam size right. That should do it. I just really like the game. That's why my face cam is so huge right now. This is the Xbox One version of Ghost and there's only 400 people playing. That's less than World of War. The LMGs, the chainsaw is pretty out there. We could put a grenade launcher on that. I didn't even know that. Or at least I completely forgot. Let's do extended mags also. See if we can even find it. Strike Zone 24 seven is pretty good, but there's only one person playing it. So we're gonna go to TDM. Maybe I can get really lucky and get st I got Stonehaven? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Well, that's a guaranteed zero kills guys. I Oh my god. I jinxed myself. I should have tried to find strikes on 24-7. This is a cruel evil joke. This game made me wait to download a two and a half gig update just to put me on this map. Just... That, that is beautiful. I didn't change characters, so I don't actually have my gun. Okay. I'm not gonna let this... This game put me on Stonehaven. I'm just gonna use a regular gun. You know what? Here we go. Starting the timer. The chainsaw's not even really that weird. I don't know. It's just, it's just an LMG. You can't fully ADS with it. And you can put a grenade launcher on it. I, I guess that's weird. Sensitivity is really high for ghosts. Holy. Man. Great map. It's just this huge, huge place. It's very difficult to find pe people. <laughs> My voice cracked there. Um, wow. He was following me for quite a while, too. Well, that, that was 30 seconds right there of trying to find someone. Look, there's a tractor. That's cool. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to find anyone. I, and look how laggy it gets when you aim. Oh. I hit his butt. Okay. Should have aimed for the knee. That's a crit spot in Ghosts. Because it's the coolest game ever. Oh my goodness. I have to use a thermal to try to find these people because it's such a big map. I missed. Wait. Behind me. Oh! That turn on! We got the one kill on Ghosts! Let's go! Let's go for a no-scope. Boom. 
Okay, I didn't kill anyone. Ah, and that's the time. Let's get off this putrid game. If you thought that was bad, we're going on Advanced Warfare next. But not just any Advanced Warfare. We're playing the 360 edition because I don't have the actual game installed. Back to the tiny logo Advanced Warfare. If you guys didn't see, I recently played the 360 edition version of Advanced Warfare and I ran into an aimbot cheater in TDM. Hopefully that doesn't happen today. The EPM3 is pretty weird, but I think I'm just gonna go with the EM1. And probably the railgun pistol too. All right, this is gonna be our class. Let's go find a TDM. Found a game fast. We're on Terrace TDM again. Why is it always Terrace when I first get on this game? All right, we got the class and we're clicking start. Here we go. Back on one of my favorite Call of Duty games again. Gonna EXO him. Okay, I missed. So yeah, the EM1 is this like laser gun. Um, it's pretty, pretty weird, I'd say. And it's actually killing pretty fast, which is pretty good. It's a super awesome and epic variance that I've got. The EM1 Poner is extra damage so I can unfairly kill people. Oh well, got killed by Joker face XD XD. Just got XD'd on so hard. Very disrespectful. Then we have the railgun pistol, which is a one shot kind of pistol thingy. I wanna try to kill this person. Okay, they're moving too much. They're exiting all over the place. I can't hit them. There we go. Get EM1. That dude's dead. Come on. Gotta exo him. About to overheat my EM1. I can't do that. It'll explode. Uh, where'd this dude go? He's exo in. I will exo kill you. Don't you? I'm so poo. Oh, well, okay. That guy got him. Come on. Get back over there. Everyone's taking my kills. Like, I couldn't exo do it. I want more exo EM1 kills. Come on. Let me kick him. Everyone is taking my kills. Exo kill hoggers. Oh, this dude's not even playing. Let's just, boom. There we go. Headshot. And then, oh, look at my exo. I was going to say, look at my exo skills, but exo clown has failed us. We're going to have to jump off the map. Mm. And we're dead. All right, moving on to Black Ops 3. This is gonna be the last game I play on the Xbox One, then I'm gonna switch over to the PlayStation setup. I had to re-download Infinite Warfare because I deleted it earlier in the year. I played and uploaded Infinite Warfare as the first video of the year and then just deleted the game, so. Okay, gotta find some weird guns in this game. And there are plenty of them. A good chunk of them are weapons that were put in supply drops too. This one's pretty weird. I'll have that on for now. The Banshee's pretty weird. We have the unlimited ammo LMG. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with the disc gun in this. I, I think I have a class with that already though. What map do we get? Uh, Hunted, okay. Kind of a bigger map. I don't know if I'll be able to get a lot of kills. I think the record is still Black Ops 2 with five kills. I'm not completely sure though. I guess I'll find out when I'm editing this. I'm really just hoping to pop off on Infinite Warfare though. Let's be honest. Got my weird class. We're starting now. And we're playing some demolition. Ah, uh, okay. I was used to advanced warfare's movement already. Now I'm like Black Ops 3 is very different. Oh, and some kind of bomb. Got a nail gun them. Uh, hitting them. Okay, there we go. Got a kill. I think someone's flanking me over here. Get away from me. There we go. Got two kills with a nail gun already. Beautiful. Good stuff. And still got 40 seconds. We might be able to set a record here. Oh. Nope. Okay. I that person came from up top. Oh my goodness. Now this is very different because I'm not playing team deathmatch. I'm mixing it up a little bit and trying to do some demolition, but I really just wanted to do it because it's the featured game mode and sometimes it's hard to find games on Black Ops 3. Also, I don't know how those shots did not connect and kill that guy. I don't really use the nail gun too much, so I don't know if it's any good, but it's uh, definitely a weird gun to add to Black Ops 3 for sure. There we go. There's three kills. Oh, and we defused over there, I think. How are we doing? Maybe I can get someone with the, the disc gun. Okay, I thought I was brutchied for a second. I was about to get triggered. But yeah, that, that's gonna end it right there. I wanna kill at least one person with the pizza gun. Lethal. Oh, I missed. Reject! <laughs> oh, I almost had him. Oh well. That's going to conclude our Xbox One portion of this video. Now we're gonna be moving on to PlayStation. All right, here we are on the PlayStation setup and now we're on Infinite Warfare. It just got done installing too, which is like perfect timing. Let's go to multiplayer. Update requires restart, of course. <laughs> we've gone through 11 years of Call of Duty games so far. That's just mind blowing. We, I think we've got some pretty weird choices on Infinite Warfare. <laughs> RVN, that's kind of weird. Three round burst SMG that shoots an EMP launcher. That's just dumb. They've got a sniper shotgun hybrid. The Udom. <laughs> All these weird Infinite Warfare guns, what? Why did my game just black screen, what? Memory error. Oh, Infinite Warfare. Terrible, terrible game. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not on the green screen, so I can't just like shrink myself, but maybe I'll have a super small face game for Infinite Warfare. I don't know. The Venom X is pretty weird. I think I'll use the SMG that splits into a melee weapon. That's pretty weird. I don't think that's ever happened in a COD game before, so why not? All right, this is our class. Here we go. Just put me in that lobby. Uh, what do we got? If it's a memory error, I swear. Yep, of course. I think you just had to restart your game to get that to work. Yeah. Ghost and Infinite Warfare, they're just, they're, they're killing me today. They know how much I despise them, so they're just being really difficult for me. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, I don't even have my phone ready. And we're going now. Click the button, putting it down. Let's switch to the melee mode so we can go punch people already. It's actually kind of cool. Boom! Let's see if we can get this guy. I'm going to switch to this part. Wait, Venom X. Oh, I didn't. I actually just, I want that. Do it, do it. 
I forgot it's a burst SMG, so that was completely throwing me off. Okay. That's actually, not, like, not that bad, though. We've got two kills already. We're 20 seconds in. Way to go, Infinite Warfare. Let's go back to melee mode. Oh, wait. Nope. We're gonna... I don't know how to shoot this thing. It's... Do the stuff, Infinite Warfare. There we go. Looking good. Also, when I jump in this game, I try to jump like it's Advanced Warfare. Oh. Yo, this thing is really good. I told you I was gonna set the record on Infinite Warfare. I called it. We're gonna do it. Nope. He jacked my kill. I can't... I can't have people jacking my kills on here if I'm gonna win. I, I'm going in. I'm super focused. Oh, that was a sentry gun. What the? Oh, that's right. That was a specialist. Oh my god. Dude, like, this game makes my brain go to a million miles per hour because it's just so tactical. So much going on. Oh my goodness. We're gonna set the kill record. I think I already did. I don't even know, but I kind of know. Venom Exum. Oh. Mmm. It's a kill. I don't know if that counts. We're gonna have to figure out what the editing. I think I actually just set the record with Infinite Warfare, which is disgusting. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna switch to COD World War II now. I'm kind of losing track of what order these games go in. Partially because there's so many, but also because of all the, like, the time era changes. It really is hard to keep track of what order these games came out in. I mean, they had the blunderbuss. You know what? I have an idea, but you're gonna have to wait and see. I'm doing some shipment 1944, 24-7, ricochet, hardcore, hardcore domination. I think that's what it's called. I don't- <laughs> It's a lot of words. I don't know if I got it right. I actually really like the whole Wanderlust thing where you just spawn with a random gun, so that's what we're gonna do. Here we go, and we're starting now. And I'm gonna be using whatever guns I get, and I'm just gonna try to get as many kills as I can, and hopefully I can be infinite warfare, because, well, this is shipment, and it's hardcore, so... Already at two kills! Oh! And I switched to a bat! Not gonna be good for hard- well, not- well, uh, blah, blah. Yes, words. I'm- ugh, Come on! I gotta do better than infinite warfare! There's a PTRS, there's another gun, I don't want a sniper, there we- This is not going good. Come on. Gotta beat infinite warfare. I'm on shipment, and I'm in hardcore. This shouldn't be that difficult! Why are the guns being so poo? Come on. There we go, there's a Type 100. There's a kill. Got three kills right now. Getting more, getting more, getting more. Let's get a feed, can we get a feed? A brecci! Give me a brecci, really? Come on, dog. Oh my. We're about to get a feed on this. No, I failed! But I think, oh, I'm getting so many kills. I don't, I might be able to beat it. I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. Because this is gonna be like some next level stuff. My aim is so poo though, I got five seconds. Come on, get me in there. Get me in there, give me a gun, give me a gun. Eh. No, the timer! That was so fast paced, I don't even think I know what was going on. I just realized I completely skipped over Modern Warfare Remastered. We're actually gonna play that. I kinda went out of order here, but here's Modern Warfare Remastered. I know I already played Call of Duty 4, I'm kinda doing this to make up for Modern Warfare 2. Plus, the remaster has guns that the original game did not have. I guess I could use the Kimbo Ragers or like the Kamchatka. Let's use, I guess, the BR9. And then there's melee weapons as well, which Call of Duty 4 obviously did not have. Well, let's go with the Samurai Sword. And this is gonna be the class I use, I'm, I guess. Alright, here we are on Bog, and we're starting now. Um, not the best map for the Rangers. Might just use the pistol. I don't know. This is interesting. What? Okay. We got a lot of people sniping on Bog. That's that's really the way to go, but uh, that is... Whew! This pistol is brutal. This thing is really strong, but it has this disgusting recoil. Look at that. So, that's what I'm using. Uh, not the best choice for Bog. Oh my, I can't even see. I literally can't see the dude. But I'm just gonna blop him with the Rangers. It's all good. I'm gonna try to throw a stun here. Get me over there. You're done! Got a UAV, and they've got an airstrike. Oh my. I could probably still blep this guy. Get over here. Get over here, fool. Oh, I'm nasty on Modern Warfare Remaster right now. Oh, with my non-original guns. Oh. <clears throat> I was trying to reload the pistol. I could have probably still used the shotgun there, but oh well. Could have squeezed in an airstrike and gotten some more kills. Looks like this team is not doing the best, and oh well. Time's up anyway. I kind of messed up and I went out of order, but I'm pretty sure Black Ops 4 is the last game. I think it'll be kind of hard to find a weird gun on Black Ops 4. The weapons in Black Ops 4 are actually just pretty standard. Kind of a tough call. I think I might just use the Brecci and the Nefuti. I'm going for a kill confirmed. I don't know if I'll be able to beat the Cod World War 2 like 8 or 9, maybe 10 kills record. I personally am having a really hard time keeping track of all the kills I've gotten across all the games so far. But yeah, we got some kill confirmed on Arsenal Sandstorm. Maybe I'll get 20 kills in a minute. Probably not. And here we go on Black Ops 4. On this ugly poo map, which is actually not that bad. I don't know why, like, the Sandstorm version of Arsenal actually plays okay. At least if you're trying to use a shotgun, because the low visibility actually allows you to kind of get to close range faster. So, it's pretty good. I like it. I'm gonna try to use the Nefuti. I haven't used this thing at on anyone yet. The Like, the little preview video for it, it's, like, so stupid, but it's actually really funny. Where I think a Seraph on WMD just gets launched out the window. I thought that was actually, like, really funny. Oh. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you! Come here! Ah! Okay, there we go. We got our first kill, and I'm pretty sure we switched sides by now. And we only have 20 seconds left! Yay, Black Ops 4! <laughs> That's not very good. Oh well. 
Woo! I was gonna say though, I actually am really enjoying prop hunt on here. Nuketown is hilarious when it comes to prop hunt. And there's only like three seconds. I couldn't even find anyone. That's Black Ops 4 for you. Just trying to constantly run around, run around and find people. I'll brush you. Brush you too. What the? Okay, that was every single Call of Duty game from COD 2 up until Black Ops 4, minus Modern Warfare 2. But it happens, it's hard to find matches on old COD games. But thank you guys very much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me use all of these weird guns on all of the Call of Duty games. Make sure to leave a comment and let me know what you think is the all-time weirdest gun in all of the Call of Duty games, and which Call of Duty game you overall think has the most weird guns. For me personally, I think that Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare have some of the weirdest guns. Advanced Warfare gets pretty close as well. I don't know, for me personally, I feel like all of the futuristic EXO Call of Duties, they have some of the weirdest guns. And the rest of the series is just pretty normal. But again, thank you guys very much much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this Call of Duty video. If you guys did and you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to drop a like and I'll see you guys later. Ah!